Evan in for Carleen, and, and the good news, Evan, is she left you light duty. Really a beautiful stretch of weather we're in right now. Been amazing. Yeah. The marine layer clouds in the morning, afternoon highs, just about around average, if not slightly cooler than average, and that's kind of the trend that we've stuck with now into your Friday. Take a look at your Friday almanac. 67 degrees is what we saw for that afternoon high, just three degrees shy of average for this time of year, which would have been about 70 degrees. Record high was set back in 1914 at 85 degrees. We were about 20 degrees off of that record high and rain so far this month still minimal only trace amounts that's that T there average for this time of year 41 one hundredths that means that at this point in November we've practically erased the benefits that we had over the month of October we really saw above average rainfall for that month now as we look at our 24 hour temperature change we're slightly cooler than where we were at this time yesterday morning cooling down to mainly the mid 50s out there we're going to be warming up though as we head into the later portion of the weekend we'll lay that out for you in the big picture here you can see how the low pressure system that is up around the Pacific Northwest is starting to move farther south and to the east. It's going to be channeling some cooler air in our direction over the next uh, about 24 hours or so. So that's the trend that we've been seeing over the last several days. Early morning marine layer clouds temperatures just shy of average that continues into your Saturday, but Big changes arrive for Sunday and beyond. Sunday and Monday, a ridge of high pressure sets itself up over about the Utah area. Starts to push those Santa Ana winds in our direction. That'll mean warmer temperatures, drier conditions for Sunday and Monday. Two days to watch out for with those warmer temperatures. Low pressure behind it, though, changes things up pretty quickly into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Uh, only thing in terms of watches, warnings, and advisories, a red flag warning from Sunday 9 a.m. through about 7 p.m. That's for Orange County up through L.A. County. Uh, for us, San Diego County, we are pretty calm and clear going into the rest of your weekend, so not much trouble out there. Now, beyond that, we're going to be seeing those temperatures really warm up into about your Sunday, Monday. Again, that's that time frame where we do see that warm up take shape. But for tomorrow, we stick with temperatures largely shy of average. Upper 60s for the most part along the coastline. A couple 70s scattered inland, Escondido, Ramona, El Cajon, and Valley Center. All looking at highs of 71 degrees. Now on the eight-day microclimate, you can see how Sunday and Monday, those warm temperatures are what we've got. We continue with sunshine, but those temperatures do cool down into about Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Thanksgiving itself, looking pretty nice out there. Temperatures around average for this time of year, but we do still see those Santa Ana winds likely picking up again for Thursday and Friday.